a ton of his characters. It's he doesn't play around. Definitely not. Definitely not. But Kevo's nothing to sleep on, man. Kevo, what? Kevo, Kevo showcasing, Kevo the, whole board? showcasing the Hobart. Indeed, that is one oh, expensive ass mixer. Uh, yes, it is, man. Thirty-two thousand dollars. Shout out, shout out to mindset, man. Yo, the whole Bart boys, the whole Bart legacy lives on, baby. This is crazy. This is going to be crazy. I, if he can get the mix just right, then it's going to be delicacies for everybody. To know. All right, Go guys. Uh, let's see some uh, some hazard logos and some noble logos in the chat. Who do you guys like? Please. Okay, so he did get the first hit to get the meter. Oh my goodness, got clipped with the low. You know what that means? It's money kick time. Oh, wait, the, that was a really good breaker because he was going to get that portal up, and that was a savage overhead teleport from Kevo where he could have just died. Okay, I'm picking yeah, up right so back up as solutions. We're definitely going to get money quick boys this time. Yep, brain and money. Nope, I'm taking that. It does get one of the armor. Oh, yeah, try to trade. Nope. And just in time, the, the money falling from the sky. Another money pit. Here we go. Yep. Oh, oh, and barely low profiling that is Kevo to man. And he's going to get the mix going. And this is going to be close to the round. And what a check from Illusions. That was not a guaranteed check. If Kevo would have, like, EX ported behind him, it'd be a different story. And what a great anti, anti crossover standpoint from Kevo. Definitely Triboy's best anti crossover uh, move, in my opinion. That stand one is so good. I believe it's seven frames. There we go, going for the four, four down one stream. There he goes again, going for the four. What a great little hit confirm there from Kevo and actually getting the uh, reset off. It doesn't get the combo though, but he picks it right back up. Okay, nice block. Nice block, no loot. No time to Once again, confirms the anti air 111. It's so preemptive, man. It's like, the loser starts jumping, the 11 already comes out, boom, confirm. Oh, punish that. There we go. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna break. Some people are a little risky stuff when they have music break. I noticed that a lot in this game. Okay, right back towards the portal. And right into the armor. That was a crazy. Little, oh go ahead and press the button setup. Wow, he dropped it on purpose. Okay, that was cool. Try to end here right there. And you know, Quan Chi, Quan Chi's down one is one of the most oh. savage pokes in the game. If Quan Chi hits you with a down one, no mix up is guaranteed. You can just press the button right back even on hit. Nope. He has to go for another poke. Or else nothing's gonna happen. Great DX guy drop from Illusions. One more hit's gonna close this out. But this is smoke, ladies and gentlemen. One more mix. Nice tick. Wow. Oh, if you would have committed Kevin, to the overhead the there. The oh, Kevin, oh, yeah, Kevin, and oh, no. Oh, and, no. And, and as you saw there, he did the down one on hit. Nothing was guaranteed. Sure Kevin not. poking back, but the recounter poke from Illusions taking it there. Yeah, that's one of the cool that's things. That's why they say Quan sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh if you if you really love Quan Chi, um, you have to notice that, and it's it's a really quick thing to try to uh, pick out because if it is down three and it hits, it's super plus on hit. And almost everything's guaranteed. Whereas if you see him do down one, you better mash that counter poke. Oh, man. Uh, great insight by Aquaman. There we go. That's what I love, baby. Okay. So right back on point, Kevo decides to go with Tempest Kung Lao. Let's see how this matchup fares. Yeah, and Kevo has actually been playing this character pretty much since day one. He, he was he was all right. Oh, yeah, that was a great jump back uh, kick read from Kevo there. But he's been all around the, the character list since day one, but Lao's always been there for him. Yeah, definitely. definitely. And Illusion's there? He was setting up, uh, when, when Quan Chi players commit to that string, they're trying to uh, make you make you think that they're going to do a rune, which there's a gap. But if they complete the string, there's no gap. And so it'll, 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 it'll catch you pressing the buttons. Oh, and the dive kick, hitting up the interactable. 
Okay, I like yo, the Furman off of the hat. Fantastic. Hey, so, Kevin, man. What's always gonna be there with Tempest is that stagger pressure. Yeah. That that are, are are they gonna are they gonna complete their something or something like that? And throws are so good with Tempest Lao. People say he has no mix-up. That is his mix-up. If, if you watch Foxy play, he throws people to death. Yeah, Foxy is the grab guy. Believe that. For sure. Foxy grabs more than any NKS player I know. <laughs> For sure. Okay, he's moving out there. Oh no, he's losing the meter still. He's okay, taking the it. meter. He wants yeah, it. Yeah, does not want to make him break. Do I want to do the hat? Okay. Disrespecting the plus frame from Illusion. I think Illusion is actually went for a mix up, which is not guaranteed off that EX room. And what a great. Let's go back to the corner. Okay, Kevo. Nice dance from Illusion. And the orbital head is going to do it for Kevo. <laughs> Illusion's making it out of the corner, but probably one of the best footsie tools in the game. Kung Lao's orbital hat. It's just walking footsies. Pay your respect. <sighs> So it's definitely worked out for Kevin, for sure. Kid. I mean, did not allow Quan Chi to get anything started. And I mean anything. But this is pretty good for Illusions. I mean, he does have a lot of characters in his arsenal. So he can choose anybody he wants to. Maybe he's going to choose a bad matchup for Kung Lao. Let's see who he decides to go with. I see somebody in the chat said uh, Sun God. Yep, here I don't go. Know. Sun God's a pretty, Sun God's actually a really good pick for uh, Tempest. That would be, that'll be something I, I, most of the times when he picks Sun God, in the back of my mind I'm going, NO! NO DADDY NO! But, <laughs> this matchup's one of the instances where Sun God will be a really good pick, but he also did a really good pick in Reptile. Mm -hmm. Right, definitely. Okay, let's see how this goes. It went nimble actually, so, let's see some slow down set up. Okay, so we're gonna get slot. Yes, and Nimble is the only variation that I see him pick. He loves not to use him some Basilisk. First, both of them back to back. Nice to the full folks, Yeah, he, he actually loves using it more than most Nimble players do. He'll do it any chance he can get. Full screen, it makes the zoning so much more annoying. Mm -hmm. Oh, this combo. Here we go. Probably not a lot of damage, but yo, this is set up right now. You gotta take it. Where you wanna go? What do you wanna do? What is this chip damage? And this is that old school kind of Tempest play. Kevo throwing it back. Shout out to DJ T, man. Yo, where are you, man? Let's go. This was this a this, this was a Yomi heyday where everyone yeah, played Tempest. Everybody was this character. How many how many times do you see this character of uh, Eddie Bo? Everybody played this character. Oh, and that so, sneaky sixteen percent. And what a big drop from Kevo. Didn't get oh, and this is gonna be really good damage. Is Kevo gonna break? No, he's not. It's a swagger. Oh my gosh, he's a loser. What's going on here? No, I like that break. I like that break. A little early. Oh, just set up into the slow. Great break. That was probably gonna be around 40% meterless right there. Be careful. He's jumping a lot, but doesn't even care. Okay. Oh, God, oh and, and, and no hat to actually get the combo there. These quick 50-50s from illusions. Oh no! Falls for the oldest <laughs> trick in the book! The move is big. And you know, you think you can press a normal oh, noise, but it's so active. You have to be careful. I don't want to take this pressure right now. You can't confirm it from there. And great blocks from Kevo. He's a mixing up with Stand for Love the whole time, and he does it right there. Sorry. No, not happening. Okay, yes, they lose. The, the that's what's great about Reptiles. He gets those really quick mix ups and the safe 50 50s on Oki, and that's that forward four. That he can get the, the full launcher off the forward four overhead straight. And so that forward four low is so sneaky at times. Mm -hmm. And we have got a back and forth here. Oh, man. Man, Lou did overhead one time and it actually Six caught. Zero. Yes. Okay, so who's Kevo going to go with? Man? Kevo is on uh, own life right now. Going for his life. He's, he's going to stick it out with, uh, with Lau. Okay. I, I like the way his loud looks. I mean, I can definitely see why he would want to do this. I am not mad at this at all.
I approve of this. I have no quarrel with this. <laughs> no quarrel. It was, no quarrel with this at all. Was that a Kung Lao pun? Yeah, yeah, yeah that definitely. <laughs> I have no quarrel with you. I had to do a pun for my brother Monster. <sighs> In the Ford Four, beating on the wake up spin savagery. Yes, He's using that 404 a lot into the slide. Yeah, like it, it, I said, you're, you're, you're so fearful of of eating the entire launcher, launcher, and now he's done it so many times that the actual string is probably going to open him up. But God, star 33%. I'm going to see some more of his rep. This is pretty, it's pretty sexy. I don't know why. I, I like his rep. Ooh, okay, go for the, uh, the hitbox on the claw. And wow, doesn't get an optimal punish there, and he gets the sneaky low. <laughs> Oh, the bat one down and, the, and the claw, which is projectile immune, goes through the orbital hat. Very good stuff from Illusions. Oh, very smart. Very Savage smart. wake up dash. It puts out the. Puts out the. Oh, okay. yeah, oh my gosh. Illusions has to be feeling himself right now. Uh, I think he is. Set up the EX. Yeah. Slide out. That's the burn. Great conversion by Kevin to mid. It's gonna kill? No, 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 no. One more hit. I like the meaty hat shot. A nice okay. trade. The trade saves his life here. It does. Okay, so Kevo lives to fight another round. Final round. Let's see if he can live to fight another game. And you know, <laughs> very good block from Kevo, who fell for a forward four slide about four times in a row, and then blocks the overhead the fifth time around. <laughs> But, yeah, not, not that time. but there's also the mentality of you know just if you just keep eating the low slide the damage is not uh that effective where as long as, long as you don't eat that full combo yeah you're pretty good definitely. okay burn both meters you want some damage no way not to the combo and he is going to eat all of these lows he's he he just mixed it that, that is the mix i cannot believe it. He is just telling Illusions, go ahead and keep doing the low. I'm not going to get full combo. And, and Kevo right now. And this that's going to do it! <laughs> and we're going to a last game, ladies and gentlemen. We have a game five early here oh. in Conquest. Yes, we do. Ooh, ooh. I am so... Oh, man, this is crazy. This is crazy. And guys, a couple of up, uh, updates off stream. Sunio defeats Biohazard 3-2. To make top eight, and he will play the what? winner of this. Revit Leafing defeats B Kith 6 2 64 3 1 to make it in top eight. And Stony Stone or Stony Bad Luck defeats V Reckless 3 2 to make it in the top eight. Oh, wow. Yes, and, and, yes. So we have, we have some good top eights coming soon, guys. Man. So, Illusions, what will Illusions pick? The ball is in his court. What do you want to do, Illusions? Tell me. So what do y'all got, guys? Look, let me get a uh, Hazardous logo for Kevo. Let me get a Noble logo for Illusions. Who do y'all think is going to take it? Let's see him. You know? Seven frame four four? Mm. Think of Bone Shaper. Wow. Wow, okay. Out of no a character we didn't even mention. We named about ten of them. Yeah, of, I know, right? Of who he's got in his arsenal, and he goes yeah. with Bone Shaper. Shinnok and guys, our first top eight match we're gonna have for you: Revit Leafing versus Doctor Stabs. Yes. I actually just got done doing the frame data list for this guy, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to keep up with these frames right now. Right. And Kevo not respecting the plus frames on the health bar. Yeah. And the reactions from Illusions. Oh my gosh! Man, Illusions looking good right now. We go for over it. We go for low. And almost got the conversion there with the instant run down one. Sh Shinnok players at a really high level can get those random conversions off of raw hell sparks. They look so sexy. Yeah, look at that combo. Okay, here we go. Set up. Oh, nice tech. Oh, and the hell spark correcting oh. behind him, and that's oh, yes, the break. Oh, no, he wants to break. Kevo wants this round. Did he take it? 
Oh, and I like this, that. As he down poked out of the, uh, the back, too. That was fantastic. Disrespect to those plus frames, and Kemo goes for that slow overhead. Huge read from Illusions, and he's poised to try to take this match from Kemo. Okay, no, where, where do you think he's going? Don't you, what are you going to get out of this back Jesus, that's like 34% confirmed. I'm loving the disrespect from Illusions. And no punish from Kevo! That savagery level has been turned up all the way to 11. Yes, it is. Okay, back to the corner. I'm loving these runners. And just wake up down one health sparks. What are we witnessing here? The savage levels over 9,000, it seems. Gotta go for the damage, too. Again, like right after the hat, he jumped with the damage. Nice take by Kempo. Situation. And just run right up and throw. And we, yo, last round, ladies and gentlemen, last round. Who do you think is going to take it? Yo, talk to me. Talk to me. Oh, my God. Yo, Kempo looking good right now. And he smacked him with a stoplight. He said, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> and going for the shoulder tackle. And this is, that is the only real way that Lau has access to big board damage. Is off of that. He doesn't have a meter at all. He's got to do this all with no meter. Still no ball. Still no Meterless spin wake up anti-air. Kevo. In the zone right now, has two bars, he's got two EX hats. So much savagery right now. Oh yeah, let's take it. I'm gonna kill, not gonna be, gonna be close. Okay. Oh man, one more hit from the guys. Who's gonna get the last hit? What's it gonna be? And that's gonna do it! Let's just out! Oh my god, this is not my losing! Man, Everything that was, was on the line there, because if Kev if that health spark if the third part of that health spark didn't force a block on Kevo, Kevo was ha he had the punish ready, which was that instant run. But the mm. fact that he had to block that third health spark, oh man. <laughs> oh my god, this is and, just on another level, guys. And this every is, this every is time level. it seemed that Kevo had a chance to try to close it out, that down three from Illusions 